Good morning, church. Welcome to worship. If you will stand with us, please. Let's enter into his presence with singing. Let's lift him up today, our good father. Let's sing.
Well, good morning. How many of you come expecting God to do something today? All right. All right. Well, we're excited. I want to tell you something really cool that you may have not been aware of. But for a while now, uh, has it been a year, Steve, the Burmese church? So for about a year now, after this service, in the second floor of the administration building, we have a Burmese church that meets. It's really cool. God's been doing some great things there. They had 11 baptisms here yesterday. That was awesome. So you know what? We praise God for that. We're excited about going to the nations. But man, we sure love when God sends them to us. And so they're here. And you just remember the Burmese church and your prayers. Uh, they're really exciting. If you're here today, you're a guest for the very first time, you will find this Connect card in the bulletin. And you can fill that out. And you can do one of two things with it. One, after you fill it out, you can drop it in the offering bag. Or after service, there's a Connect desk out in the atrium. And you can take it to them. And they've got a free gift for you. It's a cup of coffee and $5,000. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just a cup of coffee. But you can take that out there, take that Connect desk, and they'll also give you a packet of information just telling you what God's doing at Hillview and how you can be a part of what God is doing. So if you're a guest for the very first time, please fill out that card and do one of those two things with it. In a moment, we're going to have communion. The communion stations are set up in the back and on each side of the balcony and up here in the front. And Steve, in a moment after the baby dedication, is going to pray and ask God to bless the elements of communion. And this is what's cool. Communion is for anybody that's a believer. Anybody that Jesus has saved, we invite you to be a part of communion. So after Steve's done, after he prays, you can make your way to those stations. How many of y'all excited? We got new babies in the house. New babies in the house. Oh, y'all. Oh, come on. Y'all can do better than that, Sally. It's taken her nine months to do this. New babies in the house. Okay, that's better. That's better. Yeah, yeah. Trenton and, and uh, Sally, we, we, we are so thankful for this beautiful daughter. We're thankful that you all have done something we're going to talk about today. You're bringing her in the presence of God as soon as she's born. And that changes things. So we want to stand up. I'm going to get you to stand up. And thank God for Lola Lynn Cox. Lola Lynn. And she's a pretty girl, aren't you, Lola? <laughs> I'm getting good at this now. Do you see that? That's, just, that's grandfather smiles. You know that? She sniffed granddaddy on me. Well, I want us to pray. And hey, thank you guys. And you know what I love? I love y'all as young couples. Because you know what? Every time we dedicate a baby, this is what I hear. Okay? I probably won't be here when Lola's 40. Jesus will. And guess what? We're going to put her in that we're going to put her in that place. Amen. So, guess what? Please be nice. The babies we dedicate will be your surgeons later. So, welcome them with great with great uh, love and care and as we teach them, thank you all for being great people. Let's pray together. Lord, I lift up Trenton that he'll be the dad you've made him to be and Sally that she will always be the mother that you've made her to be and Lord, that Lola Lynn will just feel your presence and she'll be here at the church and just love all the things that are presented to her and she'll go home in a house that loves Jesus. So, Lord, we just thank you for this. In the name of Jesus, amen. Trenton, I'm going to hand you the papers here. And uh, Sally, I'm going to hand you the Bible here. Ms. Lola, have that. Thank you all, okay? Y'all are a beautiful couple. Thank you all. Let me pray over communion. Communion stations will be blessed. We're going to bless that body and that, and that cup. If you're a guest today, anybody here a guest today? Anybody here a guest today? Come on, okay, great, wait, okay, good, good. Y'all got to get your hand up so we can see you, okay? We love you. Now, I want you all to do something before I pray over communion. I got a letter, I got a letter. It was a nice letter, it wasn't an ugly letter. I get a lot of ugly letters, but this was a nice letter. And I think it's just because we've hung out for a while, okay? I'm going to leave it to that. There was a beautiful person who visited our church for the first time and nobody spoke to her. And now hold on, hold on. Sometimes that can happen at Hillview because you sit down next to a first-time person and they're a first-time person and it's kind of like two cats. You're looking at each other to say, who's going to do it first? So let me, tell you, let me tell you what we do at Hillview. Just talk to everybody. And if they've been here for 26 years, welcome them, okay? Because you don't know them. And I walk around all the time. I say, hey, I'm one of the pastors here. What's your name? And they go, Joe. Well, Joe, glad to have you. For just a moment before I bless the cup and we come into the body. And now I need you all to do this. Some of you all started looking. Listen, I'm not getting on you. 
but you're starting to look like church people every once in a while. And you know, in my greatest prayer is we will never become church people. We will always be followers of Jesus. And guess what he does? He welcomes everybody. So if you don't mind kind of around you, if you'll tell everybody you're glad they came today, okay? Just go ahead and tell them that real quick. Come on, talk it up. But you're glad they came today. That's the way the church ought to sound as we gather together to worship. And man, we ought to wake this thing up. All right, let me, let me pray over this communion. Lord, we're here to worship. Lord, we thank you for Lola Lynn that, that kicked us off, letting us know that there are going to be new babies in the, in the spirit here in the house in just a little while. Amen. And Lord, I thank you for life. And I thank you that you brought us here today. And I thank you, Lord, no matter what's going on with us today, you are willing to be involved with that. So, Lord, I pray for the hearts that need to be healed. Heal them. I pray, Lord, for physical struggles that we have, that you would touch them. Lord, I pray for where we're out of touch in some relationships in our lives, that you will mend them. And, Lord, I pray that together we realize that in Jesus Christ we'll get better. So, Lord, as the bread is broken, may it be blessed, and as the cup is taken. May we understand by the blood of Jesus, through the grace of God, we all enter the kingdom of heaven. And there is no other way. So may we seek him in worship. Amen. You were the word at the beginning. One way. Your hidden glory in creation now revealed. 
name above every name. Amen. We worship him today and praise him for who he is and for his great love. Join your hearts with ours. Let's just sing this together in praise of our God. Let's sing. Standing here in your presence in a grace so relentless I am one by perfect love wrapped within the arms of heaven in a peace that lasts forever sinking deep in mercy see cause I'm wide awake drawing tells us that and while we were yet sinners Christ died for us his love is not based on what we do it's based on a cross where he died for our sin Just sing about that love sing it love so deep is washing over me your face is all I see you are my
worship Him. Amen. Amen. You can be seated. If our stewards would prepare for our time of offering, let's pray together. God, we thank you for this opportunity you've given us to give, Lord. Uh, we thank you for the opportunity you've given us to worship you today freely in this place. God, with that same heart of praise, Lord, uh, we give from our hearts today. And we ask that, that you would bless this offering, that you would multiply it, and you would use it to build your kingdom. And God, we thank you for allowing us to be part of your work here on earth, Lord. That's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Oh. 